everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be what's in my backpack for um, school. So to start off, my backpack is from Herschel Supply. I think this is called the Dawson backpack and it's like the large size. I'm not usually a huge fan of large bags, even like purses. I don't like big purses. I like small bags, but I had to be realistic. Obviously I needed to carry school supplies and my laptop sometimes and whatever else. I do like the small size, but it just wasn't practical. So I went with this big size. At first it was huge and I didn't like how big it was, but got used to it and it's not as big as I originally thought it was going to be. So that's good. Just to give you a little bit of detail about this bag. There are buckles, but you don't actually undo the buckles to open it. It's like a magnetic button that you just close and open. This is actually a really nice quality canvas. I've used it, I've thrown it around. I just use it for everything and it hasn't really gotten damaged or scratched or anything like that. And the quality of the leather straps are really nice as well. Once you open the flap, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a like drawstring closure. So you just open it like that and then it kind of opens like that, kind of like a big bucket bag sort of thing. The material is like this really cool red and white striped material. It's huge. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. So the first thing in my bag is usually my wallet. So this is from Coach. I think they actually call it a skinny ID case. It has a zipper and I usually can put like cash in here if I want to. Right now I just have my um, Visa and debit card. And then on the back you can put your ID. So I have my like student card in here. There's also a other little compartment here that you can put extra cards in as well. It's very skinny. There's not a whole lot you can fit in here, but I kind of like that because I like that look. I basically just put in the absolute essentials. So my ID, health card, Presto card, which is like Toronto public transportation card that you can put money on. And then I have my like student cards in the back here. I just have this lanyard which is my school and then I have this little puffball keychain thing that I got from H&M and it's surprisingly really nice quality although it is starting to wear now so I've just had it since like August and I use this thing every single day obviously so there's that. I also have my card case. This is from Kate Spade and this just holds all my extra cards that aren't gonna fit in my other wallet. Kind of just holds all my like not as important cards, kind of rewards cards and whatever. I always make sure to bring this when I'm going to the mall but other than that it just kind of lives in my backpack. I just have my sunglasses. These are from Urban Outfitters and they kind of look like the round metal Ray-Bans, which I like, so. Can't live without sunglasses. I am absolutely blind without them. So as for actual school supplies and books, I just have this folder. This is a five star two tang folder thing and I just have like a ton of papers in here right now. I really need to organize this but I just basically put like all the loose papers and handouts in here because I don't bring a binder with me to class every single day because we don't really have like lecture style classes. Some of them are lecture style classes but my program's not very academic. If you didn't know I'm in acting for film and television so a lot of times we're in the studios working and sitting and looking at other people's performances and doing performances ourselves so we're not actually like writing things down. We have a few lecture styles, but I do have binders and I need to eventually put all these loose papers in there, but I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm lazy. And then I also usually have a notebook to write things down. One for like every class basically, just so it doesn't get confusing. I like these little books. We also have an acting book that I just kind of have with me. I don't have it with me all the time, but I wanted to give an example because I will usually every single day have some sort of book with me depending on what class I have. And I just use this as an example. So this is one of the books that we do exercises from and learn from. This is the Uta Hagen, A Challenge for the Actor. We do a lot of these exercises in one of our classes. And then I also have a academic planner with me and it says, hello 2018, it's so cute, it's gray. When I bought it online at first I thought it was black. Kinda wish it was black, but it's fine. Gray's, gray's okay, I love gray. Gray's one of my favorite colors. I haven't been using it that much because as you may or may not know, Ontario College is, which is the college that I'm attending, is um, on strike right now, but it's a really beautiful paper. This off-white ivory color, even this is like so pretty. So hopefully I can use it because I did spend money on it and it'd be a shame to waste that. It has this little bookmark thing that's also gold, so that's really cute. And then, okay, 
there's this like po extra pocket in here. I don't know, you're not able to see that, but there's this extra pocket in here that's for um, like you can put your laptop in. And I thought, um, I literally bought this because I thought, okay, well, I'll probably use my laptop, but because we don't have very many lectures and we're not writing a whole lot during class, I've found that it's just easier to use a notebook and just jot things down. I don't really have a use for bringing my laptop to school every day, so so I don't actually bring it to school very often, which is why you're not going to see my laptop in this video. But I also have a water bottle because hydration is important and I can't live without water throughout the whole day. I also have my glasses case, they're just Ray-Bans, and these are what my glasses look like. And then I also have this pouch thing. I have a whole bunch of like essentials that I could ever possibly need throughout the day, so I will go through them quickly. By the way, this is like a velvet material and it's from H&M. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be a smaller one when I ordered it online, but it actually ended up being good because as you can see, I've already stuffed with this thing. So first thing in here is some snacks. I have pretty long days and I'm not always going to be able to come back and eat. Snacks are always a good thing. I have a larva in here. I have, it's all upside down, sorry about that, but I have a sunlight fruit source bar thing. There's vegan. Both of these are vegan, obviously. And then I have a packet of raisins. I always refill them if I've eaten something out of here. I always refill it just so I have that because it's the worst thing in the world when you're in school and you're starving. It's not a good idea. And also being vegan, like there's not a whole lot of options, so I always bring my own stuff. Next in here we have a hairbrush. This is from Tangle Teaser. But yeah, I have that just because my hair gets tangly very easily and that always bothered me so I thought I would bring one with to school again because I have long days and sometimes my hair annoys me and I need to brush it so I have that. I also have a Kleenex packet because you just never know when you're going to need Kleenex especially for allergies and cold and flu season so I have that. I also have these like fresh on the go wipes because I constantly feel like I have to wash my hands. I have like this weird OCD thing where I just need clean hands all the time and I'm like constantly like washing my hands. It's like an obsessive thing. So I need clean hands, otherwise it bugs me. You know, obviously in school, it's a dirty place. It's gross, it's disgusting. I live in Toronto. Sometimes you can't always go to the bathroom and wash your hands. Like, so these are a good thing to have. I also have hand cream. This is EOS. It's really nice hand cream actually. It smells lilac-y. Sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out, but sun is going crazy right now. I also have gum. It's a really beaten up gum packet. Let's see if there's actually something in here. There's one. This is Excel Polarized Gum. I really like this gum. It's like never ending. Then I have my pill case. Some Motrin Extra Strength because I tend to get headaches very easily because of like the temperature and the pressure and the sun and yeah, I don't know. I just get headaches really easily so I have those. I like to take them as like a last resort thing so that's why I have water to hydrate myself. I have snacks but if I absolutely have to then I have these and I don't want to be living with a headache all day when I'm trying to do school so it comes in this like little Tupperware container thing that my mom had and I needed a pull case and she's like oh you can use this and I was like oh perfect it's like a keychain thing I just throw it in my pouch I don't really want to put it on my uh, wallet but and then I have this Aquaphor lip balm thing I really like this stuff it's really hydrating and nice I also have a hand sanitizer this is from Bath and Body Works and it's um, a perfect pumpkin it's really helpful I really like that smells really good. And then I also have this tiny little bottle of perfume. I also have a USB stick that I have not had to use yet, just for like presentations and stuff. I have a blue pen and a black pen. And then I also have some highlighters as well. So I've got orange, blue, green, yellow, and pink. And that's it for that bag. So I think that's it for that compartment. So in these little compartments, I usually don't keep a whole lot of stuff, but I will show you what I do keep in there. I just have some hair ties whole bunch of them because I lose them so often. I have a scrunchie. Scrunchies are the best. And I also have a pair of socks because movement and I feel like sometimes I'm not wearing socks and then I wish I had socks. Always good to have a pair of socks. So that is it. That is all that's in this bag. It is 
very empty now. This is like crooked for some reason, but that is what is in my college university backpack. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gave you an idea of what kind of all fits in here. I would say this is a really good backpack for school. It does fit a whole lot of stuff. It's not too big, but it's big enough. I think it really does fit kind of all the essentials and a little bit more. So guys, that concludes this video. Let me know if you want more school related videos. I do want to do a dorm room video. Eventually I will do that. So stay tuned for that. You can do that by subscribing and don't forget to like this video as well and that is going to be it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!